What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Coming at y'all to show y'all my hair that's been taken down, um, shampooed, conditioned, and blow dried. Okay, now my last relaxer was August the 1st, so it's almost been five months. January the 1st will be five months. And let me see, so tell me about the women's image. Yeah, January 1st will be five months that I have not had a relaxer. Um, Usually, I get a relaxer every three months. I never went five months without having one, but I'm going to try to go a little longer without having a relaxer. No, I'm not going natural, y'all, so don't get your hopes up. It ain't happening, okay? It is not happening, okay? It is not happening, okay? So don't even try to convince me. So I've been text laxing my hair for like the last year now. And that's just another word for like a texturizer. Don't leave the relaxer on as long and don't smooth it out bone straight. Um, so that's what you're looking at now mostly. I don't know how much new growth I got because it's all kind of bushed up or whatever, tangled up in this hair. I can't tell the new growth from the, the, the relaxed, the text lax hair. But anyways, y'all, I'm done with the crochets for right now. I'm going to get ready to be, I'm going to um, be getting ready to braid my hair back down. And it's going on hibernation again. Don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to it yet. But I'm going to wear a wig for a while. Maybe. But I do want to tie it back up. I do want to put braids back in it. But I don't want to leave them on that long this time. Um, I want to try to do four weeks at a time if I do put crochets in it. And I also want to... Um, if I put crochets in, I'm gonna leave them in for four to five weeks. This time I have them in seven weeks, so it didn't do bad. I mean, I I, I had an alright take out. I didn't lose like a whole bunch of hair, y'all. See my previous video if y'all been paying attention. I have a video of how I pull apart my um uh, kinked up hair, what you call it, matted up hair, and so I did that. And this is the hair as a result. Um, y'all can see I didn't lose much. Um. I did get some shedding, um, some breakage. I mean, it, you're going to get some breakage, but you, your hair ain't going to be falling out. You know, you don't want your hair. If you get to a point where your hair falling out, then you, you did something wrong. Anyways, y'all, listen. I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I did to my hair. Now, pay attention. Now, first of all, before I tell you what I did to my hair, let me just tell y'all this, that it, wasn't, it was not a dramatic change within those seven weeks weeks that I was doing things to my hair. It was not a dramatic change at all. Um, there's a change in like certain sections in my hair. There's a change in the feel of my hair. And I can't really say because my hair is not relaxed so I can't do like a real limp check, a, a relaxed limp check. So my limp check will be with my hair in the same state needing a relaxer i won't do it since i did the first limp trick like that i'm gonna do the second one i did the second one like that as well you know it just in this state right here not a fresh relaxer or anything but anyways let me tell y'all exactly what i did uh while i was on my journey i had my crochets in oh man i forgot my scalp massager my scalp massage is three thousand y'all y'all know i was doing that too and massaging my scalp also and um, this is exactly what I use. The Wild Grow. I use this three times a week. Massage it in very well. And, um, this is the white bottle with the red top. Okay, three times a week, which would usually be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Or if I got off track, I was doing Saturdays, Mondays, and, and Wednesdays. You know, whatever. Because sometimes I did miss a day. Now, I did. Then I had to make up for that or whatever. Because, you know life you know and then on the days that I did the wild growth the very next day I did not um use the wild growth two days in a row so on the days that I recall using the wild growth the very next day I used the do grow so my hair was always moisturized with something okay now now I didn't I don't think I talked about this product y'all um, Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil. Now I was using this on my edges, on my edges, all the way around, even in the back, all only on my edges. And then, no, not only on my edges. And I think, um, maybe twice, maybe twice, I did put this all through my hair. I think that's one like twice when I got lazy. And I didn't really feel like picking up this bottle or that bottle. And this was just like the closest bottle to me, and I got it real quick and went all the way through. And I didn't like do it like 
in my hair. But like inside, I did it around. That was my main goal was to use this for my edges so my edges wouldn't thin out and also in the nape area. Now, that was my biggest problem. Like in my nape area, I had a problem. So I use these three products for the most part. Wild Grow, Do Grow, and Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Now, I did buy another castor oil, which is called OK um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I have not opened this one yet, so I didn't plan. I thought I bought two because I thought I was going to end up using all of that castor oil, but I didn't. Now, this castor oil right here did not come in this. This is just a sticker I took off of this jar, and it came in a jar like this with a, you know, regular black top, and it's called Jamaican Mango and Lime. I bought this bottle from Sally's Beauty Supply Store, and y'all... Every like twice a week, I use this S Curl spray. Twice a week, I just sprayed it, and I tried to focus on, um, maybe three times a week. I try to focus on my actual braids and my hair, you know, because when you put this stuff right here on your scalp, you're not getting moisture to your hair, like to this part of your hair. You mostly get moisture to your scalp and to like the roots. You know the base of your hair so this hair right here is being neglected because this this is the hair that's actually braided down um up under the crochet so what you want to do is it's hard to get this little tube and go on your actual hair so just get this and spray it on your hair this won't affect your crochets especially if your crochets are braids or something like that or really tight twists or something it won't affect your, your the look of your actual crochet so i sprayed this on my braids to keep my hair moisturized because this part of your hair needs attention too okay also get this and try to keep your hair moisturized instead of focusing entirely on your scalp you need to focus on your hair as well um because it can get dry and brittle and then that's where breakage comes in but <clears throat> that's my whole process y'all uh, I think I told y'all pretty much everything that I actually did. My scalp massager, I was doing my scalp massager two to three times a week. Yeah, so I don't want to get to talking too much because y'all know I, I can talk a little bit. So um, I'm going to post some before and after pictures um in this video now i'm getting ready to post the pictures now so before i post the pictures i'm going to tell you this that it was not a significant change another picture and tell you that that picture was before I started using my wild girl I didn't get a big result but there was a result and it's kind of hard to get a true result but my hair still in the same state. I was going to say without my hair being freshly relaxed. But since my hair was in the same state I took the picture in the first time. I decided to go ahead and not relax it and take another picture while my hair is still um, almost five months post relaxer. And show y'all the difference between those seven weeks. So um, I did mark. I put a little bandaid on the back of the picture just to show y'all to look in, into that section where right above the bandaid. And then you can see how much hair is in that slot versus the one that's on the other picture. Okay, that's it. I was trying to get it right for y'all to see that there was a small difference and for myself because I want to keep track as well. Yes, y'all. I'm coming back with y'all another video. Y'all, I got to show y'all my bathroom. I got to show y'all a lot of stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I will holla at y'all later. Bye.